Hello everyone and welcome to a new video brought by the Investa Bros Academy. As we promised, in today's video, we will discuss the importance of identifying different types of candlestick patterns in the market. So we will see why it's important to recognize these patterns in order to anticipate future price movements by reviewing some examples. And if you somehow missed the previous videos on what a trading candle is, we recommend that you start from there as to not lose any vital information. And if you like this video and find the information useful, please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our content. As the price of an asset fluctuates in the market, you will start seeing several types of candlestick patterns forming. These movements may seem random to someone who is not experienced, but if you take the time to learn, you will start to understand the logic behind them. Today, our analysis on candle chart movements revolves around the technical aspect of price evolution. But always keep in mind that there are other factors which can influence the price. Rumors or news in the market, regional or global events, price manipulation and many others. These factors will influence the asset's price and many times will override the technical aspect of the asset's price, especially in the short term. Now, before we start, we want to share with you two terms used very often when it comes to trading, bullish and bearish. Bullish means that investors have confidence in the market, the sentiment is optimistic and they anticipate a positive trend, meaning that the price of the asset will increase. On the other hand, a bearish trend means the exact opposite. Market sentiment is negative and investors anticipate a negative trend that the price of an asset will decrease. If you want to learn more about these two terms, bullish, bearish trends and many, many others, you can do so by accessing our website, link in the description below. Now, on to why it's important to understand different types of candlestick patterns. Remember what we said in our previous video, it's important to look at the macro trend and also a candle can represent any different time frames, like an hour, a day or a week. Well, let's correlate these two through candle pattern. Certain types of candles can indicate a future bullish or bearish momentum, a breakout or a breakdown of a trend. Depending on the time frame we use, candles will likely have more impact. For instance, an overall daily bullish trend will override a smaller one hour bearish trend. That is simply because the time reference is higher. The impact from one day of trading will always be higher than that from one hour of trading. Remember, there can always be small corrections, price decrease in an overall bullish trend and price increase in an overall bearish trend. But enough with the theory. Let's see some examples of candlestick patterns. The first pattern we have here is called the hammer pattern. Let's assume this is a daily candle. As you can see, the price was quite volatile but we ended up closing the day in an uptrend. The long week to the downside shows that there was indeed some selling pressure, meaning that the price went down, but this drop was quickly bought back up. Which means that there is demand in the market for our asset and that the buyers are still in control of the price. In order for this candle to be considered a valid hammer pattern, the wick of the candle must be more than two times longer than the body of the candle. The body of the candle can be either red or green. And yes, the green candle indicates a stronger bullish trend. Hammers are most effective when they are preceded by at least three or more declining candles. A declining candle is one which closes lower than the close of the candle before it. Ideally, this confirmation candle shows strong buying pressure. Candlestick traders will typically look to enter long positions or exit short positions during or after the confirmation candle. For those taking new long position, a stop loss can be placed below the low of the hammer's shadow. To conclude, the hammer candle is usually bullish and will likely indicate a future price increase. Look for such candles in past price movements and see if this bullish trend was respected afterwards. Doji candle pattern. The second type of candle that we want to show you is the so-called doji candle. The first thing you'll notice is the body of the candle. It's almost non-existent, which means that the opening and closing prices are almost identical. Also, as you can see, the wicks of the candle are long and in both directions. This means that there was both buying and selling pressure in the market. 
A doji candle is generally associated with indecision in the market. This means that buyers and sellers are both insecure with what the correct price of the asset should be. This candle type can indicate the change in the trend or a longer period of price consolidation. Therefore, this type of candle can appear at the point of minimum, maximum, or even in the middle of a trend. For those who trade, this candle is an important signal because this candle, corroborated with other indicators that we will analyze in future videos, may indicate a trend shift. The third type of candle we will review is the falling star. It's pretty obvious what the name entails, right? This candle indicates a bearish or a future downward trend in the price. As you can see, the body of the candle is very small. The opening and closing prices are very close to each other. This candle pattern can be green and red. Obviously, if the candle closes red, the downward trend is even more pronounced. For this pattern to be valid, the wick of the candle must be at least two times longer than the body of the candle. Also, this candle must be preceded by an uptrend. The candlestick will usually indicate the end of this uptrend and a possible future price drop. But how can we tell this just from a simple candle? Well, looking at the wick of the candle, you can see that the price was higher, but dropped close to or below the initial opening price. This indicates a higher selling pressure. The higher price could no longer be supported by buyers who probably started closing their positions to take profits. Another thing to note is that there is no wick at the bottom of the candle. This indicates that the closing price is also the minimum in the time reference. To conclude, the falling star candle pattern usually indicates the start of a downtrend. So try to identify such a pattern in the market to see if the downtrend was respected. And that's it for today's course. We look forward to see you in the next video where we will discuss more types of candles. And if you like the video, you know what to do. All, All the best. best.